Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. Check it out. You might see the shirt I got on, Lockdown University. This new design, is, uh, this one I just finished up. We got the four principles. We got the lock. We got defense. We got the box, because you know we be boxing people up. And we got the clamps. And then, you know, we got the basketball and lockdown, and then we got the lock, actually, and lockdown. We got University at the bottom. So you can get all your... Uh, all of your merch right here, man. Check it out. Link is in the description. Check out the merch. Like I said, we got Lockdown University. We got Rack. We got I Grind Hard. We got a Sis Game. She believes she could, so she did. You know, we got the inspirational type stuff like that and all that good stuff, man. I got my vegan agenda to uh, eat more chicken. I mean, eat more whatever. I'm in my bag. I'm living my best life. I grind hard. Pretty much everything, man. We got everything. It's a green. Uh, and then, like I said, we got the featured Lockdown University shirts. And um, if y'all want the tank tops, man, y'all let me know. Security bag. Pretty much everything, man. They gained trash. You believe you could. You did rack. All that good stuff. And then we got the Vegan Strong. We got the Vegan Strong shirt because that's what I am. I am Vegan Strong. But anyway, like I said, man, back to live action. The, the whole video today is about the fact that the Lockdown Nation or Lockdown University is about to become even stronger. And that's because the almighty Messiah, AKA Mike Wong, AKA Beluba, has endowed us with this information. And it, said, and it reads as follows. 9-18, NBA 2K19 tuning update tomorrow morning. Bring a better, brings a better balance, balance to perimeter buff versus inside nerf. Shot contest for fewer blow by for fewer blown layups and a and less OP outside shooting. And also a slight reduction in the effectiveness of steals out of out of body. What? Out of body of okay, bump steal. And then fade away threes. So pretty much what he's saying is as Giannis continues to tell, I just want to say, I, I keep looking at him on the rack! Like not yep. Yeah. Right. I just keep wanting to say that over and over, so we're going to have to get that off the screen. Anyway, like I said, and then he follows up by saying, if you're already taking smart shots, you shouldn't feel much of a difference. This update will just help reward good perimeter defense and punish people for forcing contested shots. I should probably make it even stronger, but don't want to make drastic changes. Now, this is what we already say. You lose me, Mike. Because... If you're going to make a change, make the change, stand by it, and say, I'm going to do it, and y'all just going to deal with it. That's what I would do. I'm going to do it, and you're going to deal with it. He already said he's going to have his ear to the street. He gonna be, he's going to be watching streams. He's going to be checking on things. Listen, man, the entire thing that they're trying to do is make this game ready for the 2K League. They don't want this game to be the debacle or devolve into the debacle that it was last year that was bump steals, uh, five out and left right. So they're going to tone down the effectiveness of the perimeter shots in people's face. If you watch regular streamers play, okay, that's fine. You probably don't think they need a buff. If you watch the pros play, you know that perimeter defense needs a buff. Or if you just play against bad players that just take bad shots and they're hitting bad shots far too often, they don't care who's there. Then you're going to realize, like, you, you understand what's going on. Now, most of us take good good shots. We lock down or have lockdowns or whatever you want to call it. I'm not a lock, not leader, you know, the professor or the dean of lockdown university because I'm a pure lockdown. It's because I play defense no matter what. And he's right. Contested shots, contested shots aren't the problem. It is what is defined as a shot contest or a contested shot. That's the problem. The game's definition of a contested shot is when somebody's standing on top of your feet with their hand up at the time of shooting. That's not the only way to contest the shot. And they might have to be jumping if you're taller than them, but that's not the definition of a contested shot. In, in, in reality, what a contested shot is when somebody's just in your general area. And I feel like if somebody's standing on top of your feet, when you take that shot, it should just count as a light contest. But whether they have their hand up or not, and if you don't believe it, you go out there, have somebody stand on top of your feet almost, and then you take five shots from the perimeter. And I guarantee you're going to miss eight out of 10, maybe nine out of 10. I'm going to hit five out of 10 because I, because that's what I do. I practice that shot. But the average person is not going to hit. The NBA players probably hit. They probably ain't going to hit. But the, the person that will be in front of them will be a lot taller. So they're probably going to hit the same thing. If you can't get the ball up, you can't get an effective shot off. So that's one thing. But when somebody gets their hand up, it's still registering as, as a light contest. So, I, I mean, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. 
right here. Hold on one second. And I'm gonna grab this link and we're gonna watch this together. I was watching the Noah stream last night and I always do. I watch Noah stream a lot, so a lot of times he's gonna be the person that I use for my um, for my examples. Because the most ridiculous stuff in the world always happens to him. Look at this. He's gonna come off the screen. This right here, look, green, right? Lightly, con look, look, look at what it's gonna say. Lightly contested and it's green. But what happened? Oh, you can't see it. Hold on one second. You can't see that part. Hold on, excuse me. Let me, let me get my display capture right. All right, boom. It's gonna say lightly, it says lightly contested. It's green, but watch this. The shot got blocked and it got blocked out of bounds. How on earth can a shot be, be lightly contested and it got blocked? It doesn't make sense. Let's watch it one more time. Now, should he have been able to green that? I mean, it was lightly contested. I guess he got there late, but bro, he's right there. The guy's right there. Look at this. What you got to do is look at the uh, look at the joint up under the guy's feet, right? Prior to him releasing the ball, that turns yellow. When it turns yellow, that's a that's almost a full contest. Like you can hit you can hit green contest, you can hit yellow contest, but the but the red ones you're not hitting, and really yellows you're not gonna hit much. It turns into a yellow contest at the same time that it turns green, but it's lightly contested, and the shot gets blocked. How can you block a lightly contested shot? It's either smothered or, like I've never blocked a lightly contested shot. I only block shots when I'm right in the person's face. So I'm saying all that to say this. How, how, Sway? How you hit, how, how is it a lightly contested shot? I'm just gonna leave that up there, man. How is this a lightly contested shot if it got blocked? It should either be a smothered shot or a bad shot. And so that's what I'm saying. They, they have to go back and redefine what the game sees as a contested shot. I don't see how it's possible to block a lightly contested shot. Like, if it's lightly contested and you still block it, that's goaltending, right? That means you got the shot off cleanly and and the guy wasn't really there, he got there late and he blocked the shot. So that's goaltending. At least that's what it's always been. And maybe it's just on, if you're under the paint. But I don't think you can, if it's lightly contested and it's already gone, I never saw anybody be able to get there. So it's either smothered or it's not. It's either a bad shot or it's not. I don't think it was a bad shot. I thought it was a good shot because he got by the guy and he beat him. So him taking the shot, I see why he took the shot, but why the game, I mean, it's a good shot for him to take because, well, actually he didn't fade. He was supposed to fade, he didn't fade. That, that's what happened on that. So it's a good shot when you're looking at it, right? Like right there, that's what he's been doing. He's been fading the whole time. So we know what he intended to do. We know he intended to fade. So it would have been a good shot had the game allowed him to fade, but the game didn't allow him to fade. He just pulled up. And because he pulled up, he still greened it, but it got blocked. It's not possible. Like this should not be possible to green a shot that gets blocked. And I know we, I know it happened in past two Ks, but in those two Ks, it probably was saying that it was, it was highly contested too. Actually, we didn't have those back in 2K16. Only time I ever greened a shot and got a block was 2K16. And you could green the shots all the time and it didn't mean anything in that game. But the whole point of it is, if, if it's either contested or it's not. So when he took the shot, had he faded, it would have been not contested. But because it got blocked, because he pulled up, it ended up being contested. The game didn't register it as a contest, and so it went in. So the whole point of this is, if the game can do this, and he actually blocked the shot, what hope do we have when we don't block the shot? If we're standing there with our hands up, standing on top of his feet, and it says, lightly contested. Of course it's gonna go in. He greened a lightly contested that ultimately got blocked. Like, and look at, he's still in his face right now. Look at rat face while, hold on, I can't, I can't hear what rat, rat be having. Look at rat face while he doing that. Hey, I know it be killing me, man, with the, them faces. But the whole point is, he was mad because he meant to fade. It should have been green. It should have gone in. He should have been falling out of bounds. The dude should have never caught up. But what ended up happening is the game, the game made him pull up. And because of that, it ended up being a light contest and subsequently got blocked. But I contend that that should have been a heavy contest, and it either should have not got blocked or it should have been a heavy contest. 
I don't know. But I just feel like if you block a light contest, it's gold team. And I guess I don't know. That means the ball's already gone. Who knows, man? The only po only point I'm trying to make is, like Baluba said, if you are taking good perimeter shots and you're not, if you're taking good perimeter shots and you're not just taking anything, then you'll be fine for the most part. If you only take good, uh, if you only take good wide open shots, you'll be fine. If you take um, contested shots, you're gonna be hurt by it. I don't take contested shots anyway. I only take good wide open shots in my mind. Sometimes people get there and they, they get to close out and they get to do everything and that's fine. If they get me, they get me. But for the most part, I only take good wide open shots. And uh, that's what the dead eyes dare to nullify when people get their late, late close out, late contest. So it is what it is. Like I said, his dead eye may have, may have uh, I, I don't care about them changing what happens to the contested shots. I just, they just need to redefine what is a contested shot and how severe the contest is. So that if he's open, it just needs to say he's open on his screen or whatever. But like when you're there, obviously he was there and that was lightly contested. I don't know, y'all let me know, should that have been lightly contested or should that have been heavily contested? I don't know, I think he recovered in time. From what the game made him do, he recovered in time for that to be a heavy contest, is what I'm saying. But if he had a faded on out of bounds like he intended, then it wouldn't have been anything. But anyway, I gotta get up out of here, man. Y'all make sure y'all cop y'all merch, man. Lockdown University, uh, we are we are classes in session, man. You know your boy flexing on him right here. Put him in the head, Lockdown University. I got a game tomorrow, so you know I probably stream that. But I'm gonna be I'm gonna be um I'll be playing today wearing this when I hit the gym. And this thing is clean. I mean, this is extra clean. Hold on, just look at it. I got my work pants on, but it is what it is. You know, I, I feel like I'm. I'm out there in LA wearing a tank sock and, uh, and uh, khaki pants. But anyway, this joint extra clean, man. So I'm gonna put it on Instagram and all of that. And y'all can check that out and let me know what y'all think. But anyway, if y'all got any ideas, y'all let me know. But I gotta get up out of here, man. Let me know what y'all think. Should that have been a lightly contested? Do you think they need to change anything? Oh yeah, also they said they're gonna change the bump steals and on ball steal success. I think they need to put the passing lanes back to how they were. And y'all let me know this too. Have y'all noticed that if you're locked down with quick reflexes, they're not letting you steal passes in the passing lane? Like, we were playing a game last night. I was frustrated beyond belief because I kept being in the passing lane. I'm slapping the ball. I'm touching the ball. I'm grabbing it. And my man just wouldn't get the steal. I would tap it, and it would just go to the other guy, and he would get it. Or I would literally palm it, and it would just go by. But meanwhile, somebody else would just, they always get the steal. It's like defensive people with defense in their bills, they always get the steal. Uh, people with defense in their bills never get the steal. But people with defense in their bills, they get the steals at a ho much higher rate. People without def defense in their bills get steals at a much higher rate than people with defense in their bills on passes. I understand like on ball reaching with 95 reach, obviously you're gonna get that, but I'm just saying on passes, it just seems like they don't give them to me. But anyway, I gotta get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, D BK of the People's Champ. Holla! I am the Dean of Lockdown University. We're gonna figure this out, man. Hey, we back up! Peace.